hi <coughs> oh my god <coughs> I do, oh my god it smells good I just sprayed um I just sprayed this um, Tapa moon water room spray to like for ambiance and like good smelling vibes um, and I sprayed it up thinking you know oh my god but then it got in my mouth and I'm just like Smooth move, x lax Okay. Okay, so it's been a while since my last video. Um, I've been, it's been a crazy month. I've been um, uh, shooting a film that I wrote, directed, produced, and acted in um, that I submitted into uh, South by Southwest. I wanted to submit it into Tribeca Film Festival, but I kind of was off by the deadline by two days. What? But it's fine because I believe in myself and I believe that the person that I wanted to see this film will see it or when we will cross paths again. Real quick, and this has to do with what I'm gonna, what this video is about. I was out with a friend, uh, some place I will not say in the city, and earlier that day I was thinking the project that I was working on, which was a show, uh, for my web series um, would be cool if it would be you know uh, a short film I thought it was pretty good you know and and had a beginning middle end enough to be on its own and I had a thought like maybe I should submit it to drive back a film festival I forgot about it and then later that night I'm out with my friend and you know I would completely forgotten I wanted to submit that film to Tribeca film festival I really wasn't going to in uh, look into that probably but then an hour into us hanging out and me actually talking about the project with her in walks Robert De Niro and I was like oh shit and it was like a small area and he's I look over and homeboy is looking at me speaking about something that I'm passionate about and I just took that as a sign from the acting gods and probably got himself like you should try and get this film made because that is the owner of Tribeca, that's the uh, creator of Tribeca Film Festival, which I had com uh, completely forgotten about. So I looked at the deadline, I could have sworn it said the 16th, and I was just like, all right, let's do this. So, um, so uh, long story short, the film was completed by the 16th, however, uh, it's going to have to be turned in on a later date, which is okay, but it's now with South by Southwest. I'm very proud of it. Really proud of everyone that worked on it and helped me uh, bring it to life. So, what is the point of that? This, is, this video is going to be the survival kit for 2017. The things that I've learned um, from uh, 2016 moving forward um, was this be resilient um, be resilient to learning to growing to persevering and do it for yourself you know when I was getting this film together um, this is like the most recent thing I can relate it to so I'm talking about it everything Everything that could have possibly gone wrong went wrong. I ended up having to edit the film using an app on my phone because iMovie for some reason stopped working on my computer and the quality that did work on iMovie, the, it was just the videos ended up looking shit and I couldn't do that. So I had to you take them from my phone and edit a film on my phone. I wanted to quit every day and I couldn't because there are people that were working with me um, and I knew that I was capable of doing it because I've done things in the past that really tested my uh, my will to succeed and to get something accomplished even though I didn't know if I would be able to because in the past you know I really I, I felt that I let myself down with a lot of things and you know there was a product that I was also working on during the summer where I was like you know what no like I really want to prove to myself that I can 
do this. Like I, I feel like I'm capable of doing this. And it was that belief that I had that ultimately carried me through this, not because I went to school for anything, but because I, where there were problems, I acknowledge that I ran into a problem, but then I didn't dwell on it. I found a solution. And I think a lot of the times we, especially us uh, performers, um, kind of get uh, stuck is when we run into a seemingly unsolvable problem. And my message to you all is that these are not, don't think of them so much as problems, uh, rather they're obstacles that are there to test you to see really if you're worth your salt and if you can find a way through around or you know uh, to get past them um, um, and sometimes uh, the solution is crazy but if there is something inside of you that is saying this is going to get done, but you don't know how, then you need to listen to that voice. So no matter what it is that you're doing, no matter what part of this industry that uh, you're occupying, um, as long as you can see yourself there and you can see the accomplishment, then just find a way to get it done. So be resilient. Don't take no for an answer. Um, um, uh, and, and that applies not just to um, acting or career stuff, but just for yourself as a person. If you're running into problems, personal problems as well, and you feel like there is something that is worth, um, there is something that is valuable, like a lesson that there needs to be learned, you know, really don't turn away from something that's pulling that's pulling you towards it because there there is no such thing as like good or bad everything just is and everything is put in front of us to help us grow and to becoming our ultimate selves so that was the first one be resilient um and do it for yourself you know there's you know and we'll I'll talk about that later you should want every single thing you desire for you. Okay. Um, two, people you want to stay in your life may not always be around. So cherish them while they're there. I had to learn this the hard way a few times this year. It I think we take for granted a lot of people who uh, come into our lives. And it's not, I don't think we do it intentionally. I just think we just assume that, oh, this person's in my life. They're probably just going to stay there and be there. And it's only until after they're gone that we realize, oh, no, like, oh, no, like they're gone, you know, like, and you don't really know for how long. You don't know if, uh, you, you don't know. You don't know. Anything could happen, right? Um, if there is someone who is special to you, who you really vibe with and you think, you know, they're one of a kind or um, even if it's a family member, a new friend, an old friend, a potential lover, whatever it is, someone from a job, for a job opportunity, who, you know, whatever, um, just value them while they're there because everyone has their own path and you don't know how long they're meant to be on your path for you don't know how long you're meant to be on theirs for so there are lessons to be learned there so learn them but also you know and we do the, and honestly a lot of them are learned after they're gone probably anyway but I think um it's really important to tell those you care about that you care about them. Um, and I also had to learn that sometimes, even though I want someone to be around, that doesn't mean that they necessarily want to be around or it's not really in our destiny for us to be around each other. 
and that is a harsh reality as you're growing up because you never really think about it too much when you're younger or even in your earlier 20s it's kind of just like case hey, sera sera but as you get older you realize the the value and importance of good friends and people who touch your heart and who are special but again like reason season lifetime so it was hard for me it still is hard for me to accept the fact that I'm going to meet amazing people and have met amazing people and they're just not always going to be around so I try and make a point of being as open um, with them as I can while they're there if they ever come back to learn from what it felt like when they were not there and to really you know you're here now let me tell you how awesome and great I think you are because we don't know how much time we have left so yes cherish the people that are that you care about and understand that not everyone is that you love or or admire or like are going to be around forever and that's okay because you have your lessons they have theirs that they're gonna need to learn and, and sometimes it doesn't involve you it's not a bad thing it just is so yes um, another lesson uh, I learned in 2016 that is going to be part of the survival kit for 2017. Um, not everyone will be happy for your accomplishments. Um, uh, not all the time. Um, not even your friends. So learn to be happy for yourself. Not everyone is going to always be 100% happy for the things that you achieve and that sucks if however you have those people in your life you better tell them all the time every chance you get how grateful you are to them for being selfless and rooting you on and cheering you on because I'm learning as I'm getting older that it is absolutely a luxury to have genuine friends and genuine people who are not only receptive of um, admiration and compliments and, and uh, 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 cheers, but can give it back. Um, and that's not to say you should give and expect things in return, but understand that, you know, healthy relationships are give, giving, you know, freely and receiving with kindness and love, you know. Um, and, and listen, not every friend is meant for everything. There are friends that you have for certain things that are probably more on the surface or that are meant, you know, you have them around to stroke your ego. And then you have the friends around who are, you connect with them on a deeper level. And they're always happy for you no matter what, and you're always happy for them no matter what. It's okay. Learn to just be proud of yourself, and that's enough. And if you get any more than that from an external source, then be grateful. And not the, the people that you want to acknowledge how great you're doing or to be happy for you, maybe that's not always going to happen and it's okay it's weird and it's kind of upset not upsetting but disappointing maybe even shocking but know that it is hard in the in the profession that we're in to not get jealous or feel competitive or whatever towards our peers I think it's natural however I think the more we connect with ourselves and the more we have confidence in our own work and our own abilities that are unique to us, the easier it is to give a compliment or give some kind of um, affirmation to another and seeing how well they're doing. And some people are just not at the same place as you in that way and that's okay, it is hard. So um, understand that success is a lonely road and that's just the reality of it and it's a road that you will ultimately be walking alone for a lot of it 
Um, I was talking to my best friend about this recently and you know, this is just the nature of the beast. Um, unfortunately, it that's just that's just sometimes how it is. And as the more you're in tune with yourself, I think the easier it is to accept those kinds of realities. And also, once you kind of see those people who are in your life, you can also assess that those are people you even want in your life. Because I realized today how incredibly blessed I am to have friends that I've known for so long who, you know, we all have our lives, but we all come together too. Um, at, and at times that I, I need to hear from them, they just show up and I don't even, you know, and it's, it's awesome. So if you even have one person who is on your side no matter what, then that's really lucky. Um, yes, and that just is just going to teach you how not good that feels to not have people who are willing to be as happy for you as you are for them. And that's just going to teach you to remember to always be happy for others' accomplishments and know that your time is just around the corner and your path is for you and their path is theirs. So that's another thing for 2017. It's okay to applaud someone else's hard work. You know, it doesn't take anything away from you. It just means that they're doing well too. Everyone in the world has a talent. Everyone is working hard, you know, and it's just, it's not a big deal, ultimately. I like that word today, huh? Ultimately. Okay. Um, fourth. So, I'm always doing this. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not wearing a bra, if you can tell. Okay. Um, yin and yang. Yes. Darkness. Lightness. Light. Dark. So, balance, right? Energy. Uh, where there is darkness, uh, there will be a little light. When there is light, it's going to be a little darkness, shadows, you know what I'm saying? And it's all good because things are all good all the time. It's boring. Things are shitty all the time. You're like, damn, what's good, you know? So understand that it's okay. If you have a bad day, it's a bad day. If you have a great day, it's awesome, you know, enjoy that. Uh, Cause the next day is probably gonna be shitty. I'm just kidding. But you know, balance. Balance is everything. Balance is everything. Even with the world that we're going through right now, it's a crazy world. It's a crazy time that we're living in. Um, lessons for 2017. We have that energy in us too. Yin and Yang energy. We have that. And I think uh, the more we find ways to keep ourselves balanced, whether it's through meditation, long walks, creating, hanging out with friends, having moments of solitude, the better off we'll be. Um, so whatever that, whatever works for you that puts you in balance, do it. Um, um, it's okay to have your balance thrown off too, because learning to regain it is key and sometimes being off balance is okay and you create from there too you know it's not nothing is bad nothing is ever like oh it's so bad it's just like it just is you know when we feel good so learning to make yourself feel good or at least be content is like gold okay uh five it's okay to fall in love you ready for this? It's okay to fall in love, even if you are not loved back. Mm. Even if you are not loved back, you don't have to stop loving the person or persons that you love. Learn this the hard way, too. So, I'm just learning things and I like sharing them because it's just like what I'm here to do. 
Okay, so I recently, recently, re like, re like last week, like learned um, the majority of time I was like had all this like turmoil, whatever, like in my heart space and and in my mind over a person or whatever, like whomever, is always because of not the person, really not the situation, not because of specific things that were done, but simply for the fact that I didn't ever accept or acknowledge those feelings. Acknowledging your feelings is so important, like for yourself. If you're not gonna tell the other person, if you're not gonna acknowledge it for someone else, fine. For yourself, like I couldn't, oh my gosh, it was so, I think of probably like six or 12 months, I would lie to myself about having feelings for someone and that just hurt me more. Because if I can't even be honest to myself about my feelings, what hope do I have to be honest with someone else? You know? And so it's okay. I had to just surrender and realize like, I love this person. Like I, I don't, it just happened and it just snuck up on me and it just, I had a feeling maybe that that's, that might have been what it was for a while, but I just would never even let myself get there. And I guess you have to just let yourself be, you just have to be, when you're ready, you're ready. But I just, it just happened, you know? Um, I saw this person, I was just like, shit, like, I think I just love them. And, and, and I think, like, that's just, and as soon as I just admitted that, I just felt set free, you know? I just felt like, wow, like, oh, I can just breathe because what am I gonna do? Tell love to like leave me alone, go away? Like, that's not how it works. Love is, love can be very inconvenient. And, um, and, and it's fine, it, it's, you know, the people go their whole lives not even feeling that, so, I'm grateful, I, I guess, to feel it, and and I think getting it back is awesome. But sometimes that doesn't always happen, and that's okay. And and people, I feel, and I've, I've always, I think the most I was always afraid of what is what is happening now is just not really being able to express that because of circumstances, and not really being able to really do anything about it, and maybe not even having it directed back and it's just like I'm still here like I didn't fall apart I haven't like cried myself to sleep or cried in the shower or or you know cut off my like cut out my heart with a knife and like you know did like a sacrifice to the moon with it because this person you know no and like I think I was so afraid of that happening well not specifically but you know not being loved back or not knowing what the next step would be and it's just like who cares you know like they're my feelings i'm allowed to have my feelings because they're mine and what am i gonna if i were to keep running from them i would feel how i was feeling for the rest of my life with everyone that i met and thought oh it couldn't happen with you know what i mean so it's just silly so if you're in love, if you fall in love, it's okay. Like, that's beautiful. Like, fall your ass in love. Um, and now I feel, not that I don't feel nothing, it's just, I think I feel better than, I, it, I feel better just saying it, even if nothing is coming from it right now, than not exploring how I feel or, um, running from it and trying to hide you know I just it feel it's okay like I feel elated and I'm happy to love someone even if they don't know even if uh, nothing will come from it I'm just happy to send that energy in that direction so yes yeah, send uh, 2017 if you love someone we out here love them send send them energy of love when you think of them when you see them you know be in your heart space because it's a beautiful thing. Don't let the ego get in the way of your feelings because they're your feelings. Like, 
don't let the e oh my god the ego is horrible we all have an ego because obviously psychology we have brains duh but like don't let it get in the way of uh, potentially growing because all this is going to do me admitting that I love someone is just opening the space for if I'm able to love someone and not have it get back like the person that I am going to end up with like it's gonna be so awesome because it's like you cannot love me and I'll still love your ass but if you love me back it's just gonna be like even more so if you love someone they don't love you back and you're you're okay with it think about how dope it's gonna be with the person that you're supposed to be with that was a lot of words and I said it very fast but anyway number six um, yes people come for a reason a season in a lifetime it's true not everyone that's meant to be in your life forever, and that sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's, no, it's sad. I don't mean to say that flippantly, but, um, and some people circle back around, you know, who knows. Um, um, but I think when someone's time is up, it's up. And, which goes back to me saying, uh, when people come into your life, cherish and you you know you like and respect them um put some respect on it you know tell them that you value them tell them that you love them tell them that y you're really happy to know them because you don't know how long they're going to be there i ha there were so many paradigm shifts that happened this year and I, you know, I have whiplash from all of them and all these beautiful synchronistic, you know, moments with people and situations and career. And it's been an amazing and amazing year. It got awkward with Trump, but all in all, it's been an amazing year. And a lot of realizations about um, myself and things I, I, I would not have known had it not been for the person that I do love and um, I would not have even cared to find out about a lot of things and I have learned a lot and it's been awesome and um, but sometimes people who come into your life are just the catalyst for all that growth you know so um, for all the growth that you're going to learn uh, uh, growth that you're going to be doing so um, and the lessons you're gonna learn I meant but um, but learn them with an open heart learn your lessons with open heart with an open heart um, and the people who go after their reason or season is up think of them fondly um, and be grateful to them if they were, they often are catalysts for many other beautiful gifts that are learned. But um, just be grateful. I know it's easy to get kind of hurt or feel bitter or resentful towards them. But, you know, that's life. And uh, sometimes that happens, you know. And then be grateful to people who are lifetime people I think those people are more obvious and they're always there and uh, hopefully but still even with lifetime people just let them know how much they're um, cherished yes um, seven enjoy the journey um, earlier in my career there were so many moments where I was like, oh snap, this is it. Like, this is the moment I'm gonna become a star and it's gonna be awesome. And then Talia Longchamp, blah, blah, blah. And it just didn't happen. Uh, doesn't mean cool things didn't happen, but what I en envisioned did not happen. Like, at all. But when I made the choice to um, stop formally auditioning and to start exploring my creative well, things just kind of snowballed into this amazing snowball made of like diamond chocolate. And it's easier for me to relax into the present and enjoy 
the small but significant things that are happening, not just for my career, but for me as a person, that's gonna help me grow, that's gonna help my work grow. And I am building a foundation and I've learned, wow, like it's not about like shooting to the top. It's not about having a thousand Instagram followers, it's, which I never, who cares? It's not about like, you know, being the hottest bad bitch that walks into a club. It's not about being the perfect guy, the perfect girl, the, the, the best actor. It's about just being and building a strong foundation for anything that you're going to put inside your home. You know, um, everyone would tell, like my close friends would tell me and, and uh, mentors, I guess, would tell me, you know, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, stop saying that. Like, I just want to get to where I want to get to and I just want to get there now. And, and, and I was working hard, and work, but it's just like, it's, it's, there are results, but it's not one thing goes wrong and you and you're down on yourself, you know? So I think um, you're always here. Like I feel, I've said this before, like I already feel successful. I, I already feel like I've made it. I already feel like a professional. I already feel like I am who I'm meant to be. I'm just every day continuing to grow more into that. Do I reach, do I feel like I've reached my full potential yet? Hell no, like it's only just begun, you know what I mean? But I feel like who I am right now is enough for right now and I'm just going to keep going with an open heart and open mind and being gracious along the way and that's the best that I can ask for and I'm I'm happy to do what I do I'm happy to share the things that I'm learning publicly I'm happy to make the work that I'm making because I don't think anyone could do it I think I could do it and and I put myself into my work and I want for everyone to put themselves into their work whatever they have chosen for that to be everyone has their unique voice I think what it's all about the journey is finding living your life to find what your voice is it doesn't have to be the next person it has to be this person it has to be yours your voice is your voice and your work should represent you not a product you know um, they always say you are your product sure but like you you know um, you know, make your own mold. I really, I think once I stopped uh, auditioning formally and I, I'll probably start again here and there, but like once I s didn't, once I stopped giving it so much power, doing what I thought I should be doing, um, I, I began doing what I wanted to do, which was which just felt right for me and which was not linear and which, you know, um, didn't always make sense but then ended up making perfect sense and then led me to something else. And I think going into 2017, you have to just enjoy your journey. You're, it's always the right time. The time is always now. Your timing is always perfect. Um, um, you're always enough. Everyone you are around, everyone you're meeting, everything you're doing is meant to happen. Um, and that's just, you know, and there, race to where, you know, for what? Like, where are you going? You know what I mean? Like, time is an illusion. So, who, what clock are you, what? You know, you probably don't. That was not a sentence, but um, just have, just enjoy. This is you're living your life right now. You know what I mean? It's not. It hasn't not started yet. It's actually happening. You know what I mean? If you're waiting for uh, the lights and the cameras to follow you, I mean, honey, you better hire someone to do it 
for you, your damn self, because that may never come. You know, success is going to look like something different for everyone. You have to define it for yourself. That's why I say I feel successful right now. So you really just every day, even the small things, it's not about doing everything every day. Just chill. You'll feel, trust yourself, trust yourself. You'll feel when something is right. You'll feel what you, whatever it is that you need to do, just do it. Just do it. You know, push yourself, be resilient. Um, and then don't push yourself, relax. But definitely challenge, challenge yourself. See how far you could go. See what, what boundaries you could break for yourself because your life is happening now. Um, yes, and as long as you see, you can still see the world, and not the world, but the, the vision that you have for yourself, then just keep moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all just in a forest of life looking at a mountaintop. And as long as you can see the mountaintop, you may not see the path, but you can just move towards the mountain uh, top and <laughs> create your own path. I'm sorry. I'm not like high or anything, but that's just like how I am. Um, yeah, okay. That was a quote from a friend. Um, okay. So, well, not in those words. He said it a lot more eloquently than that, but yes. Uh, Yes, uh, 2017, here we come. We're going to do it to it and be our best selves while we do it. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys probably in the new year. This is a long video to make up for the like 72 years I didn't make the last one. All right, bye.